in our new car. <laughs> so we are in our new vehicle and we are loving it. We're enjoying it completely. Akira just loves this car because um, before we had a Mazda 3 hatchback and it was just low and her seat was low. So every time she wanted to look outside, she'd have to do this to she can only see airplanes really like from from her seat but over here she's so up high she can see everything how do you like the um I'm the new vehicle it. i'm digging it it's a really smooth drive uh I, I like how high i am i feel really high up we actually upgraded to a dodge grand caravan 2009 grand caravan se with stow and go yeah so as you can see we've got the stow and go so our back seats um actually well hide and the seats kira and eliana are, are on we can also store that in whenever we want to and that was actually the reason why we picked the grand caravan we wanted the stow and go feature because um we have big plans of turning this vehicle to a camper and i'm so excited to bring you guys on this journey because well, this might be, this most likely will be a winter project. I mean, turning it completely into a camper, but we are definitely gonna at least squeeze in one trip in this next car. Week. <laughs> yeah, next week, because we were supposed to go camping. I'm, uh, if you've watched my previous vlogs, um, we mentioned how our car broke down completely and we've had to replace it. And so we've been looking for a minivan. Um, to switch up to a camper for a while now so we've had we've got plans of doing at least one backpack backing trip and one maybe another trip that we could spend the night in here so just look how big our windows are you guys like the windows feel so nice it's so nice like we've got so much light coming in here maverick maverick's so comfortable He's got all the space. He's got all the space because poor Maverick was just squeezed in the like trunk of the hatchback, and now he's got plenty of room to roam around. So with with our new minivan, we've decided to do an impromptu overnight camping trip, and I'm doing the packing right now. And then afterwards, I'm gonna tidy our place up because we're decluttering right now. I think this is like like the hundredth time I mentioned in all my vlogs <laughs> um, but yeah I'm gonna show you what we're packing for a family of four and uh, point five including the dog um, so moving forward my mic kind of just decided to just not work so you will find in some points in this video from now on I will be doing a voiceover instead of the actual audio playing. I was really bummed out that the a lot of my footage was just completely destroyed but anyways moving on to the packing. <laughs> okay number one obviously is your backpack we're just using a hiker's backpack as we're only just doing one night and we don't need to pack that much. Thanks Jordan for moving the camera and exposing our messy messy room. Since it's just an overnight or something for them to wear tomorrow, Eliana's something for her to wear. Kira, something to wear for Kira. Jammies. And to be honest, I might not even pack the jammies. I might put them on the kids tonight because um it's already Hi, I turned pack. <laughs> now you can see. Hi. Yeah. Kira, it has to stay here. See? This this is plugged in. It has to stay here. The plug it in? Yeah, the phone's buckled in. Yes. Jordan and I are going to be um, bringing our jammies. So we've got adult jammies and what we're going to wear tomorrow. So Jordan's. In my outfit, I am bringing just a coat in case it gets chilly. Jordan's pretty confident that he won't be cold, so. <laughs> right, for food, we've got, we've got this set a long time ago when we were camping. It's like a container, but it's basically also two plates. 
and me and Drew were just gonna share one because it's just one because we just do <laughs> it saves space so rather than bringing two of these we do have two of these but we just bring one because we're just there for night and we're having dinner right now and then we're gonna just have breakfast and lunch most likely tomorrow Kira gets her own and I brought cutlery and I brought cutlery for it came with cutlery but um when I do have it I might just bring this as well just in case but I also got three forks for three of us yeah I toss that in there actually in this I might throw a one of my ziplock bags in there too Hi. <laughs> Ideally, I have this camping set set that we got on Amazon. I can put a link to it um, down in the description, and it's pretty awesome, you guys. Um, it's a portable set, obviously, because it's for camping, but um, it's a set of six, and it's pretty neat because you have the bottom pot, you have the pot that goes in the bottom. At the same time, the lids are actually dual purpose. They're the, they make the lids, but they're also pans. There are like three other pots in here. So, with matching pan lids. So, a set of six. Here's the handle. So, it looks. Here. here. See, this is where you hook them on when you're cooking. And you can grab it. Ideally, um, we would just bring one pan since we're just cooking once. But we are actually going to leave this entire set in the camp. Um, in our minivan. Uh, are you okay? Wipes. Can never forget the wipes. And I just got something for each kid. Just one thing. To um, entertain. Entertain them while we're setting the van up. Or um, just in the car. Alright. Next thing I'm going to add in. Is actually a foldable bucket. I feel like some... It's not a must-have, but we would use this for if we want to do dishes. And again, I'd leave this in my camper. And if you don't have one, it's okay. Also got this on Amazon. And I'm also bringing a squirt bottle that I actually got when I gave birth from the hospital. But it comes super handy because, well, whenever I go to the bathroom, and I just use it duct tape because you'll never know emergencies okay so our backpack is actually somewhat full and I do I am packing a tote um, up with some of the bigger stuff that doesn't go in here and um, that's also going to be a dual purpose thing for a table uh, for in the morning when we eat in the in our minivan just bag with toiletries um, not really toiletries, just basically our toothbrushes and, and deodorant <laughs> and contacts because I cannot wear glasses while I'm hiking. They just fall off if I shake my head hard enough. <laughs> Alright, I will let you guys know if I do add more stuff because I'm thinking this might be everything. But, you know, I might add more stuff right before we leave. But we've got a sleeping bag for Jordan and I. We've got the pants, pots and pans that I mentioned. Two blankets for the two girls. Uh, I got a bottle for Maverick. And it's pretty cool, actually. Um, harness for Maverick. The toys for the kids. Bucket, Jordan's shoes. Um, bear spray. And two... Um, two foldable portable bowls for Maverick as well it's pretty neat actually just tuck it in when you're not using it and uh, garbage bags and also this water jug cuz yeah because we need water all right you guys it's actually 9 p.m. we left our, the apartment around 8 30 we're heading to Elk Island National Park it's just an hour away from where we are. Our 40 minutes, even shorter, even better. Uh, and we've got the car packed. The back there, as you can see, Kira's already asleep. And so is Elliot, I'm willing to bet. 
anyways i think this is where i sign off yeah i will probably try to squeeze in a short video a short clip um of us before going to bed just to see how to show you guys how everything's set up i'm just gonna show you really quick you know we set the place up i'm just whispering because kira's still asleep voiceover so we actually stuffed everything we had in the car to the front we stuffed the seats in and we actually laid kira's mattress down oh hi eliana <laughs> anyways as you can see we actually just laid down the bed we all slept horizontally actually and i think jordan was the most uncomfortable because he's tall i kind of slept diagonally and the girls kind of slept in between us maverick still had space on the left of the bed where iliana was but yeah that's how we slept for that night at least our first night we don't sleep like this anymore we have a better system now i'll probably share it with you guys in another video um when we have the system set up kira um it's not used to sharing the bed with us so she woke up a couple times at night asking you know for cuddles to read books to basically anything um she just woke up though and she's much better. But this way. This where? Where are we? Yeah, this way. This way? You want to go that way? Yeah. Can you show us? Can you show us? Can you show us? Can you show you? Can you show us? Yeah. That way? Yeah. You want to go that way? Yeah. Do you like our new van, Kira? Yeah. yeah. Did we sleep in a van last night? Did you sleep with Mama and Dada last night? Yeah. yeah. Did you sleep with Maverick too? Yeah. Anyways, thank you everyone for joining me in on this vlog. I hope you had fun watching that video, seeing how the van was set up that first night. Again, we just threw everything in the car and just went. And that's the goal, you know, that's what we want to do as a family. Whenever we wanted to go on a trip, we could go. Don't forget to subscribe so you stay tuned to this content and join us on our future adventures. Please don't forget to give this uh, video a thumbs up. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>